hi everyone good afternoon i hope you all are well so uh, today i am going to show you about uh, a tutorial that's really interesting and it's related to aws system manager so aws system manager is a is a service inside aws which you can use to manage your uh, instance to update patch and run some uh, shell commands over from there from the command manager it gives you option to run commands without logging to ssh and without uh, actually going through all over the instances it can help you to automate those uh, updating patches and updating security policies <laughs> so um, let's start the process first i am going to create an iam role I am means identity and access management in AWS. So first I am going to create an I am role for uh, EC2 instance to use system manager. I am in IAM so uh, I am going to create a new role here. The role will be for the EC2 instance. So I am here to create a new role. Okay, I had a phone call. Sorry about that. So um, here we are in the EC2 area where we are uh, creating a role for EC2 and let's select EC2 and then I uh, click permissions where we give permissions to access system manager. It's SSM which is uh, EC2 role for SSM system manager. Okay, I have uh, selected uh, SSM, then create tags, review, I'm going to give a name, EC2 SSM, and then create role. That's it, our role is created. Now let's go to create an instance. Which has this role, and we are trying to update some we are trying to run some linux commands over there so let's create a new instance amazon linux one free tier and then uh, in the iam role here we need to choose the role that you have created is it to ssm next and public HTTP launch launch instances view instances I give a name SSM instance is running so let's uh, wait for a minute great my instance is up and running so <coughs> let's try to uh, copy this IP and let's try to log in via shell I will also log in via shell to see that my uh, commands that I set from system manager is running fine so let's connect to that instance. SSH thirty one set to user at the IP address. Yes. Okay. Here we uh, see that it's connecting and uh, we have two packages needs to be updated and uh, there is update available. Okay, so now let's try to uh, run the system com manager. The system manager can be found from EC2 left panel and if you go down systems manager services. So I'm going to run a command. 
then uh, click on run command to run a command then I going to filter platform types that is Linux and then I am going to choose this option run shell script we are planning to run shell script here <coughs> ok select instances there is only one instance and it's already selected so let's go next I keep it as it is only important part is commands so here I copy some commands here I paste it this command will install apache php and start the apache server i leave others as default and then run it go to the view results then i see the the my command is on process it's running so while it's running it will show yellow when it's fully finished it will show green great it's successfully completed let's see the output here you can see what is the output of your uh, running command by going to view output by default it will uh, show only to 2500 characters and after that it's truncated but uh, if you put the output log in S3 bucket you can see the full log so uh, let's see I go to uh, instances then I copy the URL Yeah, we can see that the Apache server is up and running so it's all done from the system commands and let's see here as well HTTP status HTTP is running so and PHP version BC version 7.2 awesome so uh, these are the main things that we have uh, created here and uh, this is a, a demonstration that how you can use system manager to easily run your uh, common shell scripts from there or update your uh, Linux patches so it's very handy and it's very useful and if you are going to be an AWS sysops this system manager tool is uh, very uh, useful for your daily activities I hope this video will help you to uh, get acquainted with system manager you can try different things over there and let me know what you have tried in the comments section below so I will also get knowledge on this so thank you for watching and if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel and give a like to this video thank you have a nice day